Hi students, good morning. Today's lesson is Nancy Morjan's poem Black Woman translated by Kathleen Weaver. I still smell the foam of the sea they made me cross. The night, I could not remember it. The ocean itself could not remember that. But I can't forget the first girl I made out in the distance. Hi, the clouds, like innocent eyewitnesses. Perhaps I haven't forgotten my lost coast. Nor my ancestral language. They left me here and here I've lived. And, because I worked like an animal. Here I came to be born. How many Mandinger epics did I look to for strength? I rebelled, his worship bought me in a public square. I embroidered his worship's coat and bore him a male child. My son had no name. And his worship died at the hands of an impeccable English lord, I walked. This is the land where I suffered. Mouth in the dust and the lash. I rode the length of all its rivers. You under its sun I planted seeds, brought in the crops. But never ate those harvests. A slave barracks was my house. Built with stones that I hauled myself. While I sang to the pure beat of native birds, I rose up. In this same land I touched the fresh blood. And decayed bones of many others. Brought to this land or not, the same as I. I no longer dreamt of the road to Guinea. Was it to Guinea? Benin? To Madagascar? Or Cape Verde? I worked on and on. I strengthened the foundations of my millinery song and of my hope. I left for the hills. My real independence was the free slave fort. And I rode with the troops of Masio. Only a century later, together with my descendants. From a blue mountain. I came down from the Sierra. To put an end to capital and Ursera, to generals and to bourgeoisie. Now I exist, only today do we own. Do we create, nothing is foreign to us, the land is ours. Ours the sea and sky, the magic and vision. Companeros, here I see you dance around the tree we are planting for communism. Its prodigal wood resounds. In this poem, black woman, Nancy Morijon invokes the presence of Mother Africa. Her Mother Africa is an enslaved black woman who lands in Cuba without the geographical knowledge of her specific home in Africa. Nancy Morjan's nameless black woman is a product of the Atlantic slave trade. Without negating the importance of Cuban identity and without negating socialist values, the poetic voice of Nancy Morijan recognizes race and gender as factors in the oppression and enslavement of black people. In this signifying poem, Nancy Morijan subtly overturns the symbolic notion of the Afro-Cuban mother whose body is essentially used to birth and feed a nation, but whose voice is silenced in the national rhetoric. The poem, Black Woman, narrates the life of an individual slave woman who experiences the past and present of Cuba. The poem's physical structure represents the physical space that is Cuba. The body of the poem expands with long lines and returns with short lines, like the waves of the ocean that surrounds Nancy Morjan's Cuba. In the past, the black woman rebelled, walked, rose up, went up to the mountains, and then came down from the Sierra Maestra Mountains. Nancy Morjan's reference to the Sierra Maestra recognizes the mountains as a symbol of independence and revolution for all Cuban people. The black woman has faint memories of her ancestral language and forgotten home in Africa. In response to the unanswerable questions about her African origins, Nancy Morijon replies that the black woman is a Cuban who sings the song of the native bird, as the poem suggests the impeccable English lord kills the Spanish ruler of Cuba, and leaves the black woman's son no name, although his worship wears a coat made by the black woman, who also bears him a child, she and her son are not officially a part of the nation. Black woman is able to creatively imagine Africa without separating herself from the idea of a homogenous Cuban national identity. Thank you students, today's lesson is over. Let us meet in the next class.